watch for manholes. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. You can see um, the smoke. smoke coming out here. <laughs> Guys, I think we have an issue. You right? Yeah, bearings gone on the mower. Cow's balling. Psycho's eating mum's tree. Oh. Good morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell to get notifications of my videos. This guy's near ginger but not a descendant of a ginger. Every Tuesday, Friday and sometimes we do a Sunday video. We are back. We're looking at second cut. We wanted to go 10 days ago but the weather's been rubbish. The weather's actually going to be rubbish in the next three days. But if you haven't seen on the last video that I made uh, about mowing, I hit a manhole at the end because I am an idiot. Which is a fact. And Malone was great. They were going to send us apart for second cut. And then I forgot about hay, and then we we're looking to mow the hay. We were bodging stuff together. Dad, how well did you mow 15 well, acres of hay? Quite well once we got the mower going. How long did it take to get the mower going? About three days. Because you so you can imagine who was in the good books then. You didn't realise this was bent as well. That was the old part one, yes. Yeah? That's the old. That's one. the bit that I bent. Yes. So, so I think that's a spare. That's a spare. So this is what I broke. This should be rigid. It's not. I don't know if it's this bit that should be rigid or whatever. It all spins. So to get you one of those, we didn't have a spare, but that is a second spare. I think Malone think I am probably the worst driver ever, which I am. And then I bent this, so that was on cob. When we put it all back together, kept hitting blades and it threw three blades in about a 20 yard space. So you can imagine how impressed my ginger no, father was. the excitement was not there. <laughs> you go to the field, you start mowing, you go ding, 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 ding. Oh, you think, oh, you're just catching. You go 20 yards, you go ding, ding, dong. And all of a sudden he went quiet and the blade had disappeared. He wasn't happy. Sort it out. We've learned a lot about the Malone mower. But what I was saying about that one, the good thing about this is at least this breaks and not the whole bed. So normally on older mowers like this, what happens if you did hit a manhole and you broke it, you would break the whole thing. So you'd have to get a brand new bed. But this time you only need this new part, which probably isn't the cheapest part of the world, but it's cheaper than a new bed. Anyway, I'm just gonna put these little bolts on with a blade because the bolts went missing for some reason. We don't know why. So it is fixable. It's just a pain in the arse. But when you actually got mowing with it, you're happy, weren't you? Oh yeah, it mowed very, very well. But it just took those three coals back to the yard, rebuild, ring up. And because it was slightly out of line as well, and we didn't know, I'd not taken one apart before. You had to take the whole gear out and then move it just one notch. Plenty of variation when you put that onto there and hopefully that misses the blade. Trial and error. Trial and error. So in um, short, I was not in the good books. I was in a lot of trouble. But hey ho, we're here now. And you can imagine when all that was going on, I was on my honeymoon in Greece. I wouldn't have been my father's favourite person in 18. If you can't do it with a ratchet gun, is it worth doing? The answer is no. I don't think that's right. And why is that not fitting in there now? Okay, so that's it done. We hope find out on Saturday or Sunday when we go mowing. Here in a big 360. They're tidying this place up big time. Oh, baby. Yes, please. Oh, yes. Kieran, who just seen who's on the 360, he just borrows this because we've not been using it for like three weeks, but they needed to get some manholes out and just suck some stuff out. He's got one of them jelly air freshers in here. Smells horrific. <laughs> just have to make sure I get my boots on. Mucky boots, mucky boots on. Take away the smell. He'll love me. If I remember, this is full. I think the Hurleyman's full. I wonder how much it costs in fuel to mow I think we're doing around 100 acres, not figured out fully yet. Interesting that, wouldn't it? How much fuel it costs for a second door in Boeing? Contracting, no one wants to know that. Your number is settled to HPL. There you are. Come on. I will get your top link ball while you put all the other things on. Sure, do you want me to get it? Are you happy? I'll go, I don't okay. this. So we've just tried it, it sounds quite good. You stay there, Dad. Try it in the yard. Not that much RPM, just run it nice and softly. If there was an issue, there'd be an issue now. There'd also be an issue at higher revs. I was saying, do you want me to open the field up? But you're saying don't bother till tomorrow? No, I won't bother till tomorrow. 
I'll tell you what I need to do though, the other way. Because what's happening there is I like to push it forward to put the bed down. At the moment it's pushed forward, the bed goes up. It's the normal way. Some people like it, they wear it. It's on dump then, it's on float, sorry. All right, so we're ready for mowing. Dad's got his helium on. Is your helium full of diesel to the brim? Yeah. Because I'm going to diesel up at the end and we'll see how much diesel we use mowing. Yeah. I thought we'd be quite interesting. We're doing about 100 acres. We'll figure out when we're Yeah, but I'm going to be only doing the outside. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But it'd be interesting yeah. to see how much yeah. diesel we use to mow the whole lot. Right, we'll see you in the morning. I go to the festival tomorrow. Nile Rogers. Nile Rogers tomorrow. So, Saturday morning. It's rained. Planning to go mowing. But the rain is gone. It rained all day yesterday or last night. If it doesn't be good till one, there's a lot of mowing to do. Right, let's go milk some cows. Mother's here now. Father's here. Uh, we looked at the weather. I'll do a little bit of a print screen. The day is beautiful. Tomorrow morning between nine and ten, bit of rain. Tomorrow day is good. Monday, good. So I've done a bit of print screen so you guys will see that on the screen there. And then Tuesday looks like the rain's going to come in. But then we just looked at the iPhone app about the weather and that looks says it's going to rain every day. But I don't think it's going to rain every day. I think it's worth taking the chance. What are you saying, Dad? Grassland's mowing. Grassland's mowing. Let's go. See you in the field. The plan again is for Dad to open the fields up and then I'll do the middle. But if he's not opened this field up by the time I've just walked the dog, just walking. Move. Hey, Mo. <laughs> Silly dog. Um, I'll open up the 20 acre and get some ahead. We're just seeing how wet it is. It's quite good I can have this walk because obviously it absolutely lasted down yesterday. Proper rain, and that's why we've waited a bit. And I thought, oh, have we waited too long? Because it's one o'clock actually now. But my boots are getting a little bit wet. So that means there's still a bit of moisture there, but we need to get mowing, we need to get it done because we've got about 110 to 115 acres to do. A bit more than we thought. I thought we were only doing 100, but 115. So quite a lot of grass really to put down. It's been a great to <laughs> Actually, conclusion, I'll see you a bit. Bit of moon camp for you. There's Dad, in the first run round. Yeah, Thank you, love. Right, I want to just check that she's mowing okay. I want to check that the mow is okay. Um, well, first, good sign is all the blades are out. Uh, that blade has had a battering. Dad did hit a manhole while it, by the way, whilst he was mowing one of the fields for hay. So that was funny because it wasn't me. And that was the one that broke. Everything's cool, nothing's warm. Grass is going through, which is good. Uh, grass there, check warmth. No, he said this um, when he was mowing a bit of hay, the clutch slipped a little bit. So, which is here, I think it's a little bit warm, but you'd think it would be warm going at 540. I think he said it was like hot, like you couldn't touch it. So, I'm happy, I'm happy. He's mowing okay as well. We'll just check. First time was that run, and I felt like we were just digging in a bit too deep. So I just raised, no, I actually dropped the bed. So if you drop, you drop the back end of the tractor down, it does this, so drop the back end, and it lifts that up, if that makes sense. So it's not digging in, very exaggerated, but so if you drop the back end out, it flicks it up, which is good. I'm um, leaving a little bit of green underneath here. So this is what I want. I don't want to just scalp it. We are doing the seven acre, which we put some box muck on. So I definitely don't want to scalp that. Nice run there, you see that there? So you want it so it's mown. A good bed under it all. It is a little bit wet underneath, but it'll get tedded out, it'll be fine. Won't be tedded out till tomorrow. On the whole, we are happy for the way she's mowing. Oh, the beautiful wife is with me. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get her mowing again, maybe tomorrow. Because I'm better than you. That is true. <laughs> you don't, don't break mowers, do you? I'm going to put this on my Instagram, if it's okay. In his element, man loves his grass. 
still filming. <laughs> so Joe's just showing me. I was just videoing, and uh, she's gonna post that on Instagram. So if you wanna follow her on Instagram. This is hers. What's it called? The, the unseen footage. The unseen bits. Yeah, I'm yeah. just calling you out on everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, gonna get some mowing. Oh yeah. Oh, oh baby. You go behind. I'll go in front. Oh. <laughs> Not fully under 18s. Yeah. Right, let's get some acres smashed off. 10 open, 20 opening, 10 middle. Get in done. Take those force bolts off. Drop that down. The PTO. That's the slip clutch on this. I can't yeah. see why it's slipping on this now. So what's happening when I'm driving is, and some people in the comments will know, uh, maybe more than me. So I'm driving. We're at 540, 5:50, and it's going down to 5:10 for some reason. I feel like the power's just going. It's a bit mown off. Yeah. Don't think it'll be awful. Joe needs to go back anyway, yeah. and then I'll get back in the yard, yeah, take it off, it. and double check it. Yeah. I'll get this 10 acre done. Yeah. I don't think, I think if it was red hot, it'd be red hot through yeah, here, wouldn't it? Yeah, uh, you'd feel it, yeah. A little bit concerned, that's all. Well, I'll meet you in the yard, because I want to blow the tire up on me truck. Anymore. How are you mowing? All right, good. Blades are still out, which yeah, is good. Yeah, good. I'll tell you what we have noticed, you'll notice. Hey, it's amazing how dry it is compared to how it rained all morning. Yeah, it? it rained bad last Badly night. Badly last night and all morning, but it does want drying. But when you look across the crop now, you see, you think it's all seed heads. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, it but looks when you bad, actually it? Get, get into the crop, it isn't. It's only these younger grasses, these They've earlier come grasses through. come through. The rest is all leaf. And you can see the darker spots from the drone of the new seeds. Well, yeah, that's yeah. right, I've spotted it's up. Lighter. Well, yeah, the, the it's lighter new, where it's not new seeds. Yeah, so. where new generation seeds have been put in, and it's had the same amount of treatment across the field, whether it be slurry, inorganic fertiliser. So it just shows how those grasses have absorbed more of the energy. And also, not only are they putting it into plant, but they're taking more out of the ground as well. Right, oh, I better keep going, because I want to get this done. And then we'll have a look. So I'm going to get this 10 acre done. Yeah, well, I'll just feel take 7 acre. Yeah, and then meet you in the yard. yard. Right out. We'll have a look at it. Yeah, well, I shouldn't be long. The crop, considering it's only six weeks, we've only had six weeks of growth, haven't we? Yeah. Since we last chopped, it's not so bad. Because so it's bad. only had 40 units of that. Yeah, and it had the fertilizer light as well. Yeah, keep an eye on your engine revs as well. Okay, I'll do that. Are you moving the electric fence now? Do you want me to? I don't think it? I wasn't going to. Do you think we need it? How much salary are we put out? <laughs> Uh, totally. It's amazing how many bunnies don't come out when you walk the room. They must just stay there. So yeah, Joe was just saying, she's here. Um, we've had loads of rabbits, well hares, herons this morning. We've had yeah. two big herons. We've had got two buzzards just chilling out there, stood in the grass, probably taking some yeah. field mice. Seagulls, but we get that being on the coast. And the other day we had some deer in the field opposite the golf course, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's so, so cool. So cool. Loads of diversity on the farm. Gotta love it. And for me, you probably see it more than me, but I'm like, that's so cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say it then, buzzards are amazing, because when they do fly, the, the wingspan is huge. It's like a heron's massive as well, isn't it? Yeah, but when those two were flying for a moon, I was surprised that she didn't, like, kill a pan. <laughs> <laughs> Our dog is the softest dog in the world. Yeah. Didn't, didn't do it at the end. Did, did, did when I left you, but then the last run, the last four runs it didn't do it. Well, it just it just drops revs so you can feel it just slow it just jerk the en back a bit the engine revs yeah Tr the engine revs yeah yeah it's a decent fuel thing in the tractor I think do you reckon yeah, yeah something like that yeah. because if it just drops engine revs just up to engine revs and so I'll just put more re engine revs on yeah so the PTO actually kept going yeah yeah, yeah. oh the PTO kept going there's no spin it just dropped from like 550 rpm to 510 didn't go with the 510 i think it's not getting fuel or something well what's the what were your engine revs do you know i don't know i don't, don't have look a look at your engine revs like 2000 you did they go below 2000 yeah i think yeah. so it's but then but it could be fuel filters fuel, yeah full filter and just not getting through maybe no Cold. that's good that's good so that's where the clutch is yeah that's where the clutch is. So that's the big worry. I didn't want to break that. No, no, but that's that's the clutch plate. Yeah, that's that would be red hot. That, yeah, that's cold. Then, isn't it? Yeah. So was it red hot when you did it last time? Oh, you could see um, smoke. Uh, smoke coming out. <laughs> you know, so when Dad was doing the hay, um, and he got that was blocked. Slipping. You know, when John Kirkham, he yeah, said he yeah. blocked on that last run, and he blocked on all that. When I stopped it, you could smell the clutch plates like as best as hot, and there was smoke coming out of here. And if you go to the other field, when I started, all right, we cleared it, got going. On the first two runs round of the other field, twice it stopped, you can see it's not mown underneath. Yeah. Because it was slipping on that, that's with our tractor. So I nipped all this clutch up half a turn to tighten that clutch plate up, and that's not hot, so it's not that issue. This is good. Yeah. Makes me feel I better. Think it's, uh, I think it's a tractor issue then. I think it's a tractor fuel issue. Right, 
So the main thing is the mower's doing well. I mean, Milka's here Saturday afternoon. Just gonna go get cows in. I might move the fence again, feed cows, make sure he's okay. And then we're gonna get mowing, carry on mowing. So that's the joys of dairy farming. I was gonna go to Nigel Rogers. My clothes are here, my pass is here just in case. But if something goes wrong, I might have to miss it. On the carps, cows are in. Dad just moved the electric fence for me because he parked up there on the 15. So the cows have got another bit of grass. I moved it 20 yards this morning and he thinks he needs some more. So give him a little bit more grass. Just need to come back. Two cows are bullying, so I need to serve those two cows. My milk is here, so he's just milking them, but he can't serve them. So I'm just gonna have to come back and do that. Which is no problem. If I get the 20 and seven done, I've done the 10. Seven won't take long. I might go. But if I don't get that done, I'm not going. Oh, the weather's good, get it mowing. The longer it wilts, the better as well, so. Thank you. Someone just let me through, which is great. Right, a bit mowing. Dad's just in the seven, loving life. The uh, sun visor's up, the back window's shut. Watch for manholes. Probably the most important thing about this whole mowing in the next 36 hours. Don't hit manholes. Do not hit manholes. Look for manholes. Concentrate what you're doing, Tom. Let's look at that. Gotta show you. Gotta show you. Look at that. Oh no. <laughs> when I grabbed that, I turned and I missed my spot that I was looking at. So I made a bit of a young farmer is watching and how to do a straight line whilst mowing. Really easy, he says whilst doing a crooked line. Oh, 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 oh it's so bad. So it was great until I grabbed the GoPro. Look at this. Look at that bend. <laughs> yeah, so it's really easy. All you do, you look down, you have a point, and you just go for the point and have it further than the edge of the field. That's Tom's top tip for today. And don't take your eyes off it. Don't be GoProing. Get off your phone just for a minute or two minutes, whatever the run is, and go. Don't grab your GoPro. Don't show a follower to of how straight your line is and then if, or get that line wrong. Don't do that. Learn from me. Be better than me. Be better than the gap. Be better than the gap. Be better than the gap. I right, imagine gonna get some mowing done. What a beautiful weather. Hooky blow. Happy man. I think we have an issue. There was a ginger guy with a moustache. Just go into the field with no mower. This doesn't look good. Right? Yeah, Barry's gone on the mower. JF. JF. JF's died. Uh, it's not we got died. I bought it back before I did any damage to the shaft. It was here before I started vibrating a bit more than normal. So I lifted up, I could see it, so I rammed it full of grease. I got just did two laps around that bottom field and then checked it off. It's not gonna do, is it? Well, no, it won't, won't do anymore, it'll only ruin it, so. So it's good I didn't go to now, Rogers, because it looks like we're gonna be mowing for a bit tonight. You can, you can keep mowing as long as you want. Yeah, but it's well, nice and dry, the other field's drying, in it? It's gonna rain tomorrow, so I might as well get as much done. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss it anyway, so yeah. I think I'm picking Joe up, so I might go till 11. So. Yeah, I'm glad picking your mother up. Quarter past ten, I said I picked Joe up at half ten, it's gonna be a mad busy there, so probably gonna have to go in a minute. I absolutely love this mower. It's working fine, tractor's working fine. The mower is just unbelievable. Like obviously the JF is broken down We're just shy of eleven miles per hour. So I worked it out on my phone and that is 17.7k and it's just absolutely blasting it. It's not the smallest crop, it's it's a pretty big crop, it's quite shy, it's very odd. 
how obviously shy it is on the top of here. Um, I found that really interesting. It's always this L-shaped field, this top bit. It's always been a bit rubbish. It's like, what, probably 70, 80 yards of this top bit, and then after that, it's a good crop again. Dry, it's mowing absolutely fantastically. I know, I wonder how many comments are gonna go, watch out for that manhole. I just wanna finish this last little bit, and then if I finish that, I'll be happy. We're just doing the last little bits now. Even Blackpool Tower, if I can see Blackpool Tower from here, I don't know, should we stop? You know, there's the gap, which is the gap Blackpool Tower. So you won't be able to see it from here, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, that's lit up as well. That's how close I am to Blackpool. We can see the tower. Let's drop down a gear, let's not start at that speed. There we go. Wow! And I like this uh, on the John Deere, the split gears here, by just pressing the buttons. It's really good. Just gonna get this little bit done. But yeah, I love the mower. This tractor's doing well. Everything's going all right. Yes, I mi miss now, Rogers. They're probably having a really good time, but sometimes you gotta miss things. Get this gas cut. Have it dry, it's gonna rain a little bit in the morning, I know, a little bit of a drizzle, fingers crossed, and then we'll get mowing again. Probably a bit earlier than today. Tomorrow. Ask you a little favor, could you give the video a thumbs up? Apparently it helps the algorithm, no one knows, but if you could, well, that's if you like it so far. If you like it so far, if you give it a thumbs up, that'd be amazing. Love you, see you in the morning. Ever seen what happens when a mower hits a metal petrol can? A manhole. That's probably why.